just my own personal story. Uh, again, I've been with the company for 26 years and I've been an athlete all my life. And when I uh, started with this company, which has been bringing life enhancing products to the marketplace for 47 years, uh, I started paying a lot more attention to my health. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until the last three or four years that I realized by combining both of our, our shakes and the capsules that we bring to the marketplace uh, together and maybe shredding a few bad habits. Uh, we have a program called Shred 10. And when I started really paying attention, because being an athlete all my life, I wanted to continue to uh, recreate. I have been accused of being a professional recreationologist. Uh, every day I started serving when I was 65. Uh, and um, two hours almost every day. Uh, and I'm just an active person with uh, on no meds and loving life. And I'm planning on being that way until I'm 90. I guess those are my credentials for hosting this call. I know that we have a lot of important information and, and we're going to hear from a two-time Olympian, Jeff Olson. We're going to hear from a Dr. Mama Razak. I think I have that name pronounced right. A pediatrician as well as an athlete. And a, from Dr. Mitra Bray, PhD biochemist from Stanford. It gives me great pleasure to bring on our first uh, panelist speaker. Jeff has yeah. been a two-time Olympian, um, three-time national downhill champion. Jeff, let's uh, pass it over to you. Very good. Thank you, Chris. I am. I, I competed a, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. As I like to say, I was a 20th century athlete, uh, but I did compete at a very high level. Uh, my Olympic pursuits and uh, World Cup pursuits uh, landed me a wife. I met my, my wife at the Olympics, and much of why I'm in front of you today is because of her leadership on taking something that I saw initially as something that made sense uh, she took it one step further and said that she wanted to go out and share this information. We've got a big call tonight. It looks like we've got about 230, 40 people on. So probably around the, around the world dialing in. Uh, this conversation is in, you know, going on uh, in, in hamlets and cities and communities all over the world. And whoever got you here tonight, I want to thank those that invited and thank those for showing up. Time's currency life, so thanks for some of yours. You know, my story... Uh, you know, I, I was kind of transport for testosterone in the 20th century. I, I did sport. I chased money after that on Wall Street. Then the dot-coms came along, and I uh, thought I was going to, you know, retire off in the sunset. Made a lot of money, lost a lot of money. And in the course of all that, um, this, this conversation was introduced to me. Uh, and at the time, uh, you know, coming, having just retired from professional athletics, I'll, I'll tell you one story uh, that maybe tease up this conversation around human performance, around sports nutrition, around just getting the body to work. Look, here's the deal with performance. If you're not, uh, you know, a world-class athlete or you don't consider yourself an athlete, um, I'm going to let you off the hook. You may know an athlete. Uh, you may know, a, you know, an Uber, you know, Alice fitness buff, but here's the deal. Performance is nothing more than getting things to work when you want them to work. Uh, it's getting results. It's going from here, you know, to there, they're being higher ground. It's just results and doing results when you want them to happen. So in your body, you know, I came out of that getting my body to work. That was the lens through which I sort of viewed this conversation. Uh, and when it was introduced to me, uh, you know, 15 years ago, I can remember that uh, it was about the time that Apple had launched their Think Different campaign. And if, if you think about what that whole campaign was about, it's about, you know, just, you know, kind of going against the grain or, or just thinking a little bit differently, a design, sort of beauty, function, form. Anyway, uh, I saw these plant powders. I knew kind of guttural, guttural and visceral that it was different. It made sense. As I said, you know, matter that matters. And I took it to my wife and said, what do you think of these plant powders, this plant powder stuff? Uh, this, these produce concentrates where they harvest it, juice it, dry it, crush it into powders. I knew immediately, or, 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 or my intuition was this was not a multivitamin. This was not a uh, isolated, compartmentalized, fragmented cocktail of Humpty Dumpty nutrients, but this was the remaining matter when they took away the water. That seemed like a good thing to me. I also understood another thing I kind of, in, in a, you know, intuitively as an athlete is results are, come over time. They're compounded over time. And one of the best coaches I ever had said, you've got to come up in a thousand different ways, tell you what was about a half a dozen things. I understood that eating good food does things to the body over time, and there's a compounding effect. I also knew that I didn't consume nine servings of produce 
uh, when I was an athlete, let alone when I had retired. And I wanted to keep on keeping on and feel the way I felt, you know, 15 years ago. I just got back literally, literally five minutes ago from playing soccer with 30 year olds. And, you know, when I was an athlete, I used to think of myself as this, uh, this Porsche, this high performance machine. Now I just want to be a truck, a dependable truck that gets up and I can bang on it and beat on it. And I go to sleep and I wake up and it works again. And it's just, there's a durability, physiological durability in that, that ability to recover fast. So when I started consuming these plant powders, I will tell you that the earth did not move for me. I was not able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. I knew intellectually that these plant powders have an effect over time. It took about 18 months before I began to notice some things. So for athletes, tuning in, you know, or anyone tuning in, so you get on, I was like, I don't feel anything. That doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean that your vascular output is not improving or your immune modulation is getting better or your endothelial function or a lot of these things, which, which practitioners call subclinical that um, Manon and Re Mitra, Mitra will speak to tonight. But I started listening to these doctors who came at it from a medical standpoint, came at it from a science standpoint, came at it from an evidence-based perspective. And we're educating all of us on you know, the power of fruits and vegetables, which, you know, we kind of already know, but building that belief to where you get to that place to say there's a gap between what I know and what I do between the science and this compliance and my habits aren't where I want them to be. And here's a tool, right? Athletes are ruthlessly practical. They will do what works. And I saw this thing. This is going to work. This is a way to bridge that gap for me. So we started taking it. Um, and I had trouble initially again because I didn't feel anything but after about 18 months I began to notice some simple things I was recovering faster my skin was better my hair these sorts of things and so I understood that this was like brushing my teeth this is a hygienic health food that I take like brushing my teeth every every day I haven't missed a day in 15 some years and you know to me this just makes sense so after listening to it for, to doctors like Dr. Mitra Ray and, and Dr. Richard Du Bois and Dr. David Phillips um, lecture about prevention and the importance of produce of helping prevent disease, that never did much for me. And I sort of translated all that doctor speak into my language called human performance. And I took everything that they, you know, were teaching, you know, taught me and just translated into kind of an athletic mindset. I want vascular capacity. I want endothelial function. I want immune modulation. I want you know, to protect protein damage when I work, when I work hard. All of the research PubMed Juice Plus has biomarker benefits to human physiology. We consume food for fuel, we consume food to build, but there's this third piece of, of the food equation that I, that I call the blind spot in sports nutrition, and it's fueling for physiological durability, fueling for physiological function. I consider it the blind spot in sports nutrition. You gotta have physiological vitality, physiological dynamism first, before you can then go on the field to play and have physical performance or, or sports performance. So that physiological, physiological, physiological conditioning comes from vitamins and minerals and enzymes and antioxidants and phytonutrients compounded over time. And it may not mean much in a day, in a week, in a month, but it's that compounding effect that over time, starts to have an advantage and you once you peak out physiologically at 31 32 it's then how much can you maintain i'll just kind of end with one final um example of as knowledge catches up to truth when i was athlete our sports dietitian on the u.s ski team hit the olympics says don't eat fat this was back in the early 90s when uh we were going through the no fat craze and she said peanut butter was toxic because it had fat in it this was in the early 1990s. Now, as sports catches up to truth, here we are in 2017, and it's still carbs and proteins, carbs and proteins. But athletes need to be world-class to, to have world-class performance, or if you're a pregnant woman, that's human performance. And that matter that matters, produce powder, plant powders, the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, this has to be part of today's human performance equation. So um, if we have a little time at the end, I can give you a website where you can go, go to get more information. But I'd like to turn it over now to um, uh, my mentor, my Yoda, uh, Stanford biochemist. She's raising an elite athlete. Um, she's a Jedi uh, when it comes to talking about this from a science perspective. And she's cool. And she now even has a cocktail named after her. She's been our, my mentor, my friend uh, for over a decade. Uh, Dr. Mitra, probably all of you know who she is. Looks like we have 270 people on the call now. So, Mitra, from a scientific biochemical perspective, talk about how this makes the body work. 
I appreciate that, <laughs> Jeff. You're so funny. Um, yes, unfortunately or fortunately, however you view that, I do have a cocktail named after me. But uh, I do believe in taking care of myself most of the time. It's no fun being trying to be perfect all of the time. And I am raising two amazing children. In fact, my oldest is a little bit um, upset that I don't talk much about her because she's probably the smartest person I know <laughs> is my oldest, Leela Barlow. And um, she's just um, really an amazing person as well. And she doesn't get as much airtime as Nira, who is our uh, you know, ice skating champion. And she's a vegan athlete at five, six, doing double axles, doing several, two or three of the triple jumps that, uh, you know, competitive skaters are going for. But more importantly, she has, her coach recently shared with me that she has not only endured, but um, competing better than ever after having two of the three major injuries that definitely take out athletes from competitive skating. So um, it's been so exciting for me to have had these products for my children from the get-go uh, because I was eating Juice Plus years before I got pregnant and during pregnancy and They've, they've had it in their system their whole lives, and I can totally see their difference, whether it's academic performance. And of course, we have now, you know, millions of people in the children's health study, but <clears throat> to actually watch and watch really great skaters, and I can already see where over the years, nutrition makes a difference for these athletes. It's been absolutely amazing to see how fruit and vegetable nutrition at the end of the day trumps all the other conversations, whether it be paleo, ketogenic, um, which I'm going to be, by the way, talking about this weekend. Um, you might want to find out about that as well. Um, you know, beach body, all these diets, uh, which Jeff, you're so, you know, you were one of the first to really catch on um, that most athletes are still trying to figure out percentages of protein carbs and, and fat, which are macronutrients, instead of being concerned with the micronutrients which are actually there to help us with everything you can think of and for the athlete definitely important for repair but uh before i go on i'm going to be um introduced i want to introduce um somebody that recently came back into our lives which is um my brother from another mother um dr manan razak and he, um, I'll let him share his story, but I'm going to um, really just briefly share his bio with you. Dr. Manan is a fellow of the American Academy of Pediatrics and a diplomat of the American Board of pa Pediatrics. He grew up in Northern New Jersey, which is where I grew up after moving to America and obtained his medical degree in Bangladesh Medical College. Dr. Manan completed his pediatric residency at New Jersey Medical School. After residency, he worked as a pediatric emergency room physician for over nine years at major hospital systems in New Jersey. He's a clinical assistant professor in the Department of Pediatrics in New Jersey Medical School. Dr. Manan helps train medical students, pediatric and family medicine residents, and nurse practitioner candidates. Since 2010, he and his wife, Dr. Nadia, established Woodland Park Pediatrics to care for families in Northern New Jersey. Dr. Razak lives in Clifton, New Jersey with his daughter, Amira, and we had the pleasure to recently visit them. And I can tell you, he is really an influence in his community. I was just so impressed with how he runs it. He had, he had in his office all these top, he and his wife both, top pediatricians in New Jersey, top doctors in New Jersey, all these accolades. And with that, Manan, if you would um, come on board and uh, we'd love to hear a little bit about your story as a pediatrician and an athlete yourself. Sure, thank you very, very much, guys. Good evening. So uh, my story started in, uh, I guess, January 2002, when I happened to meet uh, uh, the Yoda that everyone <laughs> refers to. Um, back then, I was about to start my pediatric residency. I went to a wellness event that someone invited me to. And of course, uh, Dr. Mitra Ray was speaking at that event. Uh, I met her and Doug 
and got a copy of, of their book, From Here to Longevity. <laughs> anyway, I took the products for about six months, um, then residency started. Uh, all residencies in the United States start in July. So um, I took that and, um, you know, residency is grueling. Um, 80 to 90 hours a week, you can work 36 to 40 hours a, a week, uh, a day straight. That's a day for us. So, um, after residency started, I kind of stopped taking the Juice Plus. Whoever got me on didn't tell me this was the best time for me to go, go on this. Forget, forgot about Juice Plus until this February when um, I'm trying to get my family's health better. My, my daughter is the most important thing in the world to me. And I said, you know, we're not doing enough. We have two physicians at home. Yes, we get our fruits and vegetables, but we're still not getting what we need to. Um, we need to bridge the gap somehow. So I got on, looked through a lot of literature to see what's out there in the market. You know, uh, I was searching through literature to see what I can get to um, get my family better, get Amira healthier. And of course, that all leads to, to our practice, our pediatric medical practice. So I got frustrated, sat back in my office room at home where I'm right now, and just looked up at my at my bookshelf and I saw Dr. Mitre's book in my shelf that's been sitting there for 17 years. I called up the company and told them I need to get in touch with them. Of course, 20 minutes later, Doug calls me and the next day, I mean, that day we placed an order to get on the products. You know, um, Jeff talks about results. So end of February is when I started on the product. Um, including the trio capsules and, and the shakes. And let me tell you about results. We'll start with my daughter. Uh, we pick up my, our daughter at 2.20 from school and she is hungry. Uh, and normally our, our, our snacks for her would be, you know, some type of fruit, a mango, watermelon, cucumber, something, along with some starches, uh, maybe pita chips or um, some crackers. What we realized is when she would get home, she's still hungry and she's going to the pantry, she just wants to eat. And you know, if she fills up at that time, she's not gonna have dinner. So what we started doing is we gave her a shake during um, when we pick her up on the ride home. She takes her shake, she has some of her fruits, and she is fine without going ravaging the pantry and kitchen um, you know, after school. That's, that's a result for a parent. The uh, results uh, for my wife. My wife's also a pediatrician, and uh, we started the uh, Shred 10. And uh, over the course of two months, she's lost about 10 pounds. We don't want to talk about weight in one. Take it easy. But she did lose 10 pounds. Uh, more importantly, she has been on high blood pressure medications uh, for over nine years. And what we noted is that she does not need her high blood pressure medications. For me personally, um, I have lost about 15 pounds uh, doing the shred and um, am off of my cholesterol medication. I was taking Crestor five milligrams once a day since 2008 and I came off of that. It's relieving to know you don't have to be on medication. Um, also, um, I'm also a, a student of uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What I've also noticed is I'm more hydrated if, I, if I'm taking my shake uh, the night before and during, during my, um, my gym class. Um, I'm more hydrated. I'm not as exhausted as I am driving home uh, from, from the gym. So these are personal results. Um, what am I seeing in my patients? Um, you know, a, a typical pediatrician will every day talk about, well, your child needs to eat more fruits and vegetables. Your child needs to drink more water. It is not possible for a family to have 7 to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. So, voila, juice plus. And uh, we have introduced this to over 60 patients um, into the practice. And uh, yes, you know, if you know anything about the Children's Health Study, you'll know that 56% of these kids are taking less over the uh, counter medications and they're going on less prescription medications. You know, 61% are eating more fruits and vegetables. There's 66% are seeing their doctors less. Yes, I love to see my patients in the office, but 
if they're coming in for a sick visit, there's something that I feel I'm not doing properly. So we have these families that are taking Juice Plus. We are seeing, we are going to start seeing some of these results uh, from the hill, uh, that the Children's Health Study has already seen. And we're also introducing our overweight patients um, to start doing the Shred 10. Um, the, uh, you know, a third uh, of the country is overweight, whether it's kids or adults. How can we, how can we help? Part of this is plant, a plant-based diet, starting with Juice Plus trio capsules and um, the uh, complete shakes. The, uh, so it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, beginning for us. Um, again, it's been what, three and a half months so we're still newbies at this. Well, you know, I appreciate what you have to say. And it's been a pleasure to have you back after 16 years hiatus. Um, forgetting about Juice Plus, but I can imagine what Juice uh, Medical School does. So um, thanks for being with us. Um, better late than never. And I just meeting Manon. Dr. Manan and his wife, Dr. Nadia, and then also a lot of the physicians. Dr. Manan is lighting the New Jersey, uh, you know, corridor on fire with all the nutritionists and doctors he knows. And it was really a pleasure to go out there and talk to him. And you know, here's the thing: we don't have to be a doctor to really um, take advantage of of what we have here. Um, so. I just want to give you a final thought about everything that we've discussed is that, you know, fruit and vegetable nutrition is not rocket science. And what I typically find, especially like I'm preparing for this talk on ketogenic versus ketogenic diet versus juice plus, and there's always a historic precedence to um, how certain diets came about and whatnot. And there's always a logical, reasonable path why people get excited about everything. So in the beginning, there's this being totally oblivious, like you, you just aren't paying attention. And as soon as you bring consciousness to anything, you start to do better. So what, it doesn't matter what the diet is, if you start to pay attention because you're following any kind of diet program, you're gonna get results. So the point isn't about whether you're going to get results or not. It's about whether you're going to get long-term sustainable results. And in my experience, I have no bias. It's not, I don't care. I would have done whatever worked for me and my family. I would have done a ketogenic diet if that was the answer. I would have done a paleo diet if that was the answer. I would have taken multivitamins if that was the answer. I would have done anything if it was, that was the answer because I lost my father to his second heart attack and my mother to Alzheimer's. And I didn't want, to, my main objective was to not go down that track and not to end up in the grave way before my time. I don't, I don't want to get emotional about this, but I wanted to be here for my children because my father, who loved, loved children, died two months before my first and his first grandchild was born. And so for those of you who, obviously you're here tonight because you care about your health, and this is something you have to understand, this, this product line pretty soon will be, have been on the market for 25 years. I have been involved for 23 years. And I tell people, listen, I haven't done anything consistently for 23 years other than Juice Plus. We're talking about long-term sustainable results. And you know intuitively, you don't have to have a degree in science or medicine or be an Olympic athlete to know that fruits and vegetables are good for you. Science is finally catching up to the obvious that fruits and vegetables are good for you. And it turns out that that's what we're supposed to eat is plants, more plant, the more plants, the better. And so when you look at what we have today, we have a way I was, I was talking to somebody today about like, you know, when you, when your diet is so messed up and your body is so messed up, it's hard to sometimes start with a plant-based diet. I know there's people out there that just really want people to go, you know, eat real food. Eat, just eat real food. You don't need juice plus, just eat real food. The problem is it upsets your stomach when you go from nothing to real food all of a sudden. Juice plus is a great transition that allows people to eat bioavailable plant nutrition so that they can make the transition. And then I have made that transition obviously over the last, it took me a while, but you know, I caught on and 23 years later, I'm following a plant-based diet. So is my family. 
but I still have done the experiment of not eating Juice Plus. And you know what? I do better when I do my complete shakes, when I take my Juice Plus. And now with the Omega supplement, I I've, you know, hope that's going to be available soon to everybody. We're in a trial period with that. I just recovered from an ACL surgery and things were not right. And I was trying to do everything that I know. And I, I've learned a lot over the years to try to take care of myself. But the Omega supplements have definitely made a difference for me with my recovery from my ACL surgery with my knee. So with that, um, Jeff, did you want to add yeah. anything else? Um, yeah, I just wanted, to, you, you had mentioned, you know, people that say, well, just eat enough fruits and vegetables. I don't know a single athlete that eats 10 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Now, there's a reason for that. One, because fruits and vegetables don't have a lot of calories. They don't have a lot of protein. They don't service a caloric regime, a caloric requirement. I lost weight when I was an athlete. It was hard for me to keep weight on. So it's not that we're asking you to consume 10 servings of fruits and vegetables in replace of your caloric requirements. We're just asking you to layer that in because what fruits and vegetables give you beyond carbs, proteins, and fats, which they have, they have natural balances, but athletes need more of that. But you also actually need more micronutrition. You need more of phytonutrients. You need more enzymes. You need more vitamins and minerals because what all of those biochemical molecules do is give you an adaptive response, give you a physiological response. I don't know of a single athlete that, that consumes 10 servings of produce a day. And I'll just end with, you know, if you think about it from a performance perspective, what, the want, what you want the body to do, how you want the body to perform is you want it to protect, you want it to modulate, and you want it to activate. And then there's, there's, we have clinical studies on protection, on modulation, and on activation of physiological biomarkers. And that's the body working. That's physiological output. So then you can get on the field of play and have sports output. So from a, from a sports nutrition standpoint, I believe, you know, one of my goals is to help pull sports nutrition into the 21st century because massive blind spot around recovery, the adaptive response, and physiological durability for athletes. And once people sort of get it, they're like, oh, that's a no-brainer. And it just becomes like brushing their teeth for them in their daily regimen. So we've got some great programs as well for, for athletes to give it a go. And for those that are on the pro programs, you need to double your dosage as athletes. You need to double everything when, you're, when you get on some of these programs. So I, I I'll hand it over to you. Yeah, uh, Nira takes um, nine of each of the capsules a day. Um, and she is probably the top skater in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so yeah, and it's at five, six, I'll tell you, she's defying gravity to be able to do the jump she's able to do. So with that, and I, I just, just one final thing I, I, I put in the group chat there, uh, the website that you can go to, to kind of learn more about so, some kind of the way that I think about this whole conversation. And there's a link in there, and, and it's human performance page. So I, I leave that for people. It's just in the chat there. So, Okay, that's healthfoodagents.com forward slash HPN. Once again, healthfoodagents.com forward slash HPN. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here tonight, and have a great evening.